Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mike. Most of you will know of me as Onslaught. That is my Xbox Live gamer tag and welcome to my 100th video. I know um, that may not seem crazy to you guys, but it seems crazy to me. Uh, and I can't help but, you know, thinking back over the past six, seven, eight months, however long I've been commentating here on YouTube and, uh, you know, all the, the friends that I've made and all the relationships that I've built. Uh, it's been kind of crazy and I, I have to tip my hat to, to you guys, subscribers and viewers. Um, without your support, you know, and your feedback and your following I, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today so I uh, want to say a quick thank you to you guys so for my 100th video you know I wanted to, to do something special something different and uh, something kind of unique and for the longest time now people have been asking me about you know how I do my field stripping series okay how I do the editing how I do the overlays and all that stuff so today what you guys are looking at right now is the desktop uh, for my computer okay and I would really suggest um if you're if you're watching this, you know on a like a mobile device or something, you may want to wait until you can get to a large monitor and actually maximize this guy out, so you can maybe see some of the uh, some of the stuff that that's going on as uh, as I'm talking about it here on the screen. So I hope you guys enjoy, you know, and uh, and I hope that this is kind of entertaining for those of you that may not be into commentating or may not be into to editing and things like that. You know, maybe this just you know, maybe you're intrigued by the, the idea of the, I don't know, the amount of time and the amount of, um, you know, information that has to go into to putting together a video, you know, the, the way that I do and the way that other commentators do, you know, when they're really edited. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, let's get started. So real quick, though, um, this is going to be a two part series. So I, I've kind of thought this thing out uh, pretty thoroughly, I think. And uh, it's probably going to end up being, you know, a 30, 45 minute in all you know, sequence of events here. So the first part that I'm going to go over in this video here is going to be, uh, I'm going to show you guys a, a final field stripping video. So you're going to see what in the end, you know, what a field stripping video um, in Sony Vegas uh, really looks like. And, uh, and then I'm going to start from the very beginning. Okay. I'm going to show you guys my capture settings. I'm going to go into a the actual theater mode and talk, talk about how I set up different perspectives, kind of what's going on in my mind when I'm thinking about segments during a field stripping video. That's my car right there by the way, um, the Porsche there. Yeah, the Grand GT. It's pretty pimp. Uh, it's in the garage. But uh, um, I was just so distracted by that car. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into the theater mode in, uh, in Black Ops and talk to you guys about what exactly, you know, is going on in my head when I'm thinking about a field stripping video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Um, part two is going to be... Um, getting into Sony Vegas and the actual editing and the Photoshop and the overlays and uh, rendering settings and things like that. So um, what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to post up part two yet. I'm not even going to record it yet. I want to see the comments and feedback. And uh, if you guys have requests for part two, you know, I want to see those posted here on this first video so, um, so I can respond to those in part two. So it may be I don't know, four or five days after this video goes up that, uh, that I post part two. But uh, so if you have any questions, you know, get them out now. And uh, if I can't address them in a comment here, I will, uh, I'll address them in a, uh, in part two. So let's go ahead and get started. I know you guys are probably already getting bored. All right. So this, uh, this little thing right here, by the way, I had a lot of people ask me what this little, you know, interface was. This is called a Dell dock and it's something that came, it came pre-installed on my Dell computer that I'm using here. I have a Dell Studio XPS 16 laptop and uh, it came and pre-installed. If you have a Dell computer and want to get this guy, just Google Dell dock and uh, you should be able to find it. So what I want to show you guys first here is um, I want to show you what a final field stripping Sony Vegas file actually looks like. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go into episode 4, which is my latest episode at the time of uh, this video, and we're going to open this guy up. Sony Vegas Pro 9 is the, uh, the editing software that I use, and, uh, and <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be it here. Alright, so just to give you an idea, let's adjust the window layout to uh, field stripping setting, yeah. Alright, so if you're not an editor and really have no background in editing or using any type of video edi editing program then this I know this is really confusing you probably have no idea what all this means it's probably kind of intimidating but uh, to me this this is all really clear okay what each of these lines are here or different timelines. Each of these contain different events. Okay, one of it, one line is going to be uh, gameplay. 
For example, this line here is all gameplay video. Line right below it is the gameplay audio. Last line here is a series of uh, the commentary bits that uh, that go with the uh, the audio and video from the gameplay. And then everything above that are kind of overlays and effects and things like that. So um, this is just kind of to give you an idea of what, because I'm really not going to go into all this depth in the video, but just to show you guys what a final uh, Sony Vegas file of mine uh, looks like. Um, all this stuff up here are the individual files that actually make up all of this and uh, and one more thing to give you guys kind of a comparison so this is a field stripping file and what a field stripping file kind of looks like and this right here is what a typical commentary looks like okay um, typically you're gonna have about three lines of information you're gonna have a commentary line a uh, your gameplay video line then a gameplay audio line so and then this would uh, and this is your preview screen and, and yada 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 so here's just a couple little snapshots throughout the timeline for uh, for this latest video so let's go ahead and uh, and get into it get started so the capturing program that I use is called Total Media Extreme 2 it's this guy right here where did you come from my computer why is that down there I think that's that's oh that's supposed to be up there look at that <laughs> I don't even know how that thing got there. All right, distracted easily. All right, so Total Media Extreme 2 is the software program that I use. This software actually came with my PVR. So I have an Avermedia HD USB PVR. I'll put a link to it in the description. And uh, this software actually came with the uh, came with the PVR. So I'm already I've already set up my Xbox to a point during the gameplay. You can see it here. Let me wake up my Xbox real quick. Wake up. All right, there it is. Wide awake. All right. So I've already set up or found a point during the gameplay, you know, that that I would use to as uh, kind of to further invest, investigate in a field stripping video. So real quick, my rendering settings. This right here is the capture device, Avermedia USB HC capture. Uh, the video input is a component, which is this YPBPR. I capture at 1280 by 720. I capture at a constant bit rate. Um, if you don't know, uh, well. I don't want to get into it, but a, a VBR is a variable, variable bit rate, and uh, what it does, it, it makes the quality of the video better, but it increases your processing time. So uh, in the end, you know, it's not worth it for me. The processing time over the, the difference in the quality isn't that great. So I capture at 10,000 uh, kilobytes per second. The audio stuff is all just kind of generic there. And uh, the last thing is the, the file format that it creates after I've captured a file is a .ts file. And uh, one thing you'll need to be wary of if you're interested in getting this actual PVR that I have here, there's a, I've only found one version of Sony Vegas Pro that uh, that will work with these files, the raw files directly. Okay, um, For every other editing, uh, every other Sony Vegas um, Build you have to actually convert the raw file after you've captured here. So I'll talk more about that in uh, in part two. So let's go ahead and uh, hit capture here. And let this guy start rec recording now this isn't real time like I actually couldn't play on my computer screen right here because there is a slight delay so um, but we'll go ahead and hit play on the in the theater mode and we're gonna let this game play this little clip here play out and I'll tell you guys kind of what I'm gonna be thinking about so this guy right here I do a little slide move to the side and I come back and uh, and set that guy down all right so that right there would be the I'm gonna go ahead and pause it that would be the normal clip okay during the normal gameplay so after that clip is done I'm going to switch to uh, you know a different perspective and kind of look at this in a little more detail so the first perspective that I would want to switch to would be obviously the guy that uh, that I just killed I would want to switch to his perspective and show you guys kind of what he saw so that's what we're gonna do here Actually, all right, so there's his dead body. So now I need to rewind a couple uh, frames. All right, that's good. So now I'm going to hit play again, and we're going to watch this kind of just from his perspective and, and see what he saw as, uh, as I was killing him. So there I am with my rocket launcher up disappear but then I come back like Houdini so um, so that would be another you know segment of uh, this little piece here so we're gonna pause the video now the what I really want to show and talk about during this clip or portion of the gameplay is how I'm changing the visible portion of my body because if you noticed what I did when I jumped I crouched so that made uh, the size of my body you know change it made it smaller and then at the end I, I dropped and laid prone so I went all the way from standing straight you know standing tall to jumping and crouching and then to laying down so that's what I want to focus on and analyze in uh, in this clip so we're going to rewind the clip here a couple spots we're going to detach the uh, the camera from this guy and go over to the um, 
go over to the bridge and set up a nice spot, you know, where I can clearly explain, you know, how, how important my series of movements were. All right, so I'm thinking I want to get somewhere kind of low, you know, so that once I go prone, you know, I'm kind of like almost in your face. Um, one other thing that I want to do to kind of make this more theatrical, more cinematic, more professional is I want to take, take that name off of myself. You know, I want this to be like kind of, uh, you know, I want it to seem as professional as possible. And I think showing the names and stuff like that, you know, detracts from that quality. So, all right, so I want to lower my camera a little bit. All right, somewhere in here. Now, I, I know that I jumped during one point of this gameplay. I want to make sure that in the, the final video, you know, I don't clip off my head as I'm jumping. So I'm going to fast forward through a little piece here just like as a trial run and see actually how high um, how high my ups are here. All right, so it looks about right there is about the, the highest point. So now I'm going to set up my frame kind of based on that. All right, so I think that'll be good if we fast forward just a little bit here. Make sure we see me in the prone position there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and play this last uh, clip, and this is what I'll use for, for different overlays because when I get into Sony Vegas here, I'll actually pause the video, and I'm thinking I'll do some type of highlight on my body size there when I'm standing up, highlight on my body size there when I was in the air, and then highlight the uh, the portion of my body when I'm prone. and uh, And I'll pause it at the I'll pause it during the uh, during the video, you know, and then at the end you'll be able to see all three different sizes kind of compared and how they how they vary. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking there. So now that uh, I have all my uh, my video stuff here I'm gonna hit stop and that is going to give me my final file so that's gonna be it guys remember leave me comments leave me questions leave me you know if you guys want to see something that maybe I missed here in this part one uh, post it up because in part two I'm gonna answer your questions and, uh, and I'm gonna go on into the actual editing uh, using Sony Vegas and Photoshop so um, feel free to uh, you know, to, to leave uh, leave whatever you want to leave. I hope you guys enjoy this. And, uh, you know, I'm giving you guys some, some of my secrets. And part two is really going to be um, a lot of stuff, you know, as far as using Sony Vegas, using uh, Photoshop to clearly get overlays and things like that. And then uh, the ever so popular rendering settings that uh, that I use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stick around for, uh, for part two. It'll be coming up soon. And I will catch up with you guys later. See you on Xbox Live. Later, guys.